Prime One, one of the best, arguably the best. And today I got an oldie but goodie to show you why. Get those wonderful toys. All right, so in the house today, obviously no introduction needed, but this is Optimus motherfucking Prime. Now a little bit of self-disclosure, when I first started collecting, this was one of the very first statues I actually had ordered. So needless to say, obviously I have it after all these years and I absolutely love Optimus right here. Now one of the biggest reasons why I'm so impressed by this statue here and I've kept it for all these years is because, I mean, quick glance, it does look like G1 Optimus Prime, but with kind of a modern look, more detailed, more realistic, etc. Nothing too extravagant or complex, just a kind of a simple statue, obviously a museum pose, but it works. I mean, this is one case where, hey, he doesn't need to be showing off, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, flipping up in the air. He just stand there with a powerful pose and bam, there he is. You know who he is, Optimus Prime. One you don't want to mess around with and pretty much a badass in his own way. Now, one of the biggest gripes I do have about this statue is it is broken down into multiple pieces. Yes, folks, I mean, without displaying it right now, I can tell you some examples are these little flap covers on his hips. I don't know if you can see me moving right there. Um, that, the little exhaust pipes on his shoulders, the little chest, both chest pieces on his chest, uh, the windshields, whatever you wanna label them as. Yeah, they're, <laughs> so, and it, on, on and on and on. Lots of pieces to put together with this statue. So I still recall when I got this and I opened them up, I was like, holy crap. Give me a minute, it's gonna take a while to assemble this guy. Good thing though, is that he does come with this instruction sheet to show you exactly what goes where. But as you can see, it's a lot, a lot of different things. Cool thing about this Optimus, it is the exclusive. And if I recall, he has the battle axe and he actually comes with two. It's this one, which kind of is more appropriate with his look here. And this axe, which is a power axe or power battle axe, which is more symbolic with the actual cartoon. But just to be completely honest, I've always just displayed him with his look here, with the gun here, just because yes, these, are, these both are very cool switch outs for him. But long-term display ability, eh, not so much. It's just kind of a cool switch out. Maybe next time when I put them up, I will be displaying them with one of these. And you may be asking yourself, what do you mean next time? Well, the reason why I decided to do the review here on Optimus, guys, is because he has been probably one of the first statues in my display room, and he's never gone away to make room for another one. And as you know, I don't get rid of my statues. I just box them up and put them in rotation. But Optimus here, yes, he has been on display for years. And I just felt it's time for him to give somebody else a chance to take the spot on the mantle. Obviously, if you've been watching my videos, he's always been one of the main displays right behind me. That's why you see that gap right now. But yeah, I mean, that's why I decided to do Optimus because as much as it hurts and pains for me to do, he's gonna get boxed up, put away for a while. But let's go ahead and give Optimus the appropriate farewell he so sorely deserves. All right, so we're gonna switch it up. We're not gonna start with the base right now. We're actually gonna go ahead and do the switch outs first just to knock those out of the way. So here's his rifle, symbolic rifle, obviously, which is what I've always had him displayed with. Okay. Try the modern axe that he goes with. Oh, and there you go. One of the pieces just came off the chest piece. Dun dun dun. Not a big deal. We'll just put them back in real quick. I can figure out. There goes. So there he is with the battle axe and yeah, that axe looks pretty freaking badass, freaking huge. And you know, if he's gonna hit somebody with that, he's freaking gonna chop him in half. So yeah, it's an awesome exclusive, but at the same time, I feel like <laughs> he, 
He kind of looks like a pirate that's missing his arm and he's just replacing him instead of with a hook with this huge ass axe. Again, cool exclusive, cool switch out, but not something I want to display on him long term. And here's the energy battle axe. Okay, more reminiscent of the cartoon like I mentioned before. Cool switch out, but I don't really think it fits with him because, you know, with Optimus looking so badass with the paint job, the design, etc. The, this making it more look of like a cartoonish look, it doesn't really fit with him. That's just my opinion. Um, let, me know, let me know what you guys think about this. And both switch outs actually. Okay, let's put his rifle back. There he is. And again, this is how I've always just, this is how I've always displayed him. But let me know what you guys think. Do you feel he looks best with this look or any one of the two axes? Now let's go ahead and get onto the base. So the bottom of the base itself has this really industrialized metal pattern, metal look here. I, best I can guess is maybe taking reference from Cybertron, maybe something of that nature. It's kind of a, like a brownish, goldish color. Very plain, very simple. No, nothing to be razzle dazzle about. And the front obviously has the Autobot symbol here. It actually comes off. Just one of the many multiple pieces for this statue. Okay. All right, and there's the bottom of the base. Moving up, he's Optimus is standing, best I can guess, in a rocky terrain. But the rock here is actually covered what looks like to me mud so we're not in a dry area maybe kind of mud land some of that nature doing battle again very simple does its job holds the statue up and what i really love about this base again the bottom of it and the rocky part is that it's a completely different color than optimus himself that way he himself with all his different colors here can just pop out and really stand out when you see him in person. Moving up with Optimus. Now, first thing I wanna note is that with the statue, he's not battle damaged, he's not scuffed up, anything like that. Except for the bottom of his, of his feet right here. Yes, they do have a little bit of that splatter of the mud here at the very bottom, okay? But that's it, you know? And I think that's an excellent attention to detail because it shows that yes, he's, sta he's standing on him and probably just got here getting ready to do some battle obviously he has a gun out and you know he's still clean he hasn't engaged in any kind of battle at all whatsoever now moving up this is why i feel prime one is probably they're definitely one of the best do i think they're the best i could agree with that in some points but let's just take a look here at optimus his feet here alone could spend a long long time telling you about how much details they have. So yes, right here they have all the mechanical work and in, inner workings right here of his feet, you know, the gears, the springs, the pistons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we move on right here with the blue with the blue. What I really love about the blue and the red, I'll just knock it out right now, is yes, it's a very shiny clear coat cover, but it's a metallic on both of them. I don't know if the camera can really catch it. But yes, that metallic, and especially when the shine, when the light shines on it, that metallic, that kind of um, metallic color, pearl, crushed pearl look, it really stands out and looks pretty awesome. But moving on to complement more of the detail here as just sticking with the legs alone. So we have his tires here, and yes, we do see that they are, they have that tread look. And the outside of the tires, just like in real life, you know, the outside of the tires are black, clean. The bottom part of the tire, they're not the same color. They're kind of like that, have that scuff, the dirt, etc. Inside of the tires, we see the rims, you know, with all the nuts and bolts in here. And the back of his legs here, in case you don't know, these are supposed to be kind of the gas cans for a semi truck, which Optimus Prime transforms into. And then moving further on, we can see all the metal work here done with his legs, going more into the inner workings, you know, more pistons, rods, etc., things like that. You can see the nuts, the bolts, kind of like that tack welding, if you want to call it. You know, all the little details here in the back of his legs as well. I mean, everywhere you can see tons and tons of texture work here. Every part of the statue we have smooth on his legs, kind of that rough gradient look on his legs, you know, where it's more metal, gray metal, I should say, just bare metal to be more specific. But yeah, I mean, throughout the statue, 
We have tons and tons of detail, like I mentioned before. And even though Optimus does have a clean look overall through the statue, we do see some parts of not so much battle damage, but more just kind of like fading, maybe kind of like sun damage when it comes to a paint job of that nature. Uh, so everything's not just one flat color. I mean, for the most part, it is all similar in the same color, but here and there we do kind of see like paint where it's fading. He's not super clean as far as you know, being brand new out of the factory, but it's more kind of just like a worn, worn out vehicle. So we do see a little bit of scuff marks here and there, not so much battle damage, just kind of like wear and tear kind of thing. Moving up to the torso, obviously we can see that that detail and the paint job continues on up, but I just want to give a lot of credit to the attention of detail they have right here in the chest piece of Optimus Prime. Yes, he is modeled after the G1 Optimus Prime, and because of that, they could have gone and made it simple, kind of skip things, details, things of that nature. But no, I mean, they went all out and just look at that chest piece right there. We can see different mechanical parts like a drive belt, um, camshaft, maybe an alternator, um, arms of a, of a vehicle, axle rods, they, you know, all kinds of different things right there in this chest piece. Now, even though it's very small and obviously it's not the focal point of this statue, just seeing that, I'm just like, like God, this is freaking badass. And also, before I forget, one little detail that they didn't forget was this. Optimus' eyes light up. Now, I don't know if it's able to catch it on camera, but his eyes aren't as bright as I wish they were, you know, but they are kind of a dim look and I wish they would just like be super freaking bright, like where you can really, really tell. Unfortunately, that's not the case with Optimus, but yeah, you can still see it. But moving on to his arms and further detail with it, you know, again, the paint job is continuous with that metallic red, that kind of crushed pearl within that paint job here. You know, all the details in his hands, his arms, you know, the piping right here, the exhaust pipes for his tr for the truck when he turns into it, they're right here so that mounted onto his arms. You know, I can go on and on and on guys about just explaining and showing you every single tiny nook and cranny of detail this statue has, but that would take way too long. But obviously you can tell that I'm thoroughly impressed by this statue because of the amount of detail. His gun here, they absolutely captured the look of it. You know, Optimus does have, that's his signature weapon right there, that rifle with the big, I don't know, shoulder brace right here, you know, because it is a, is it a rifle cannon? So he's gonna be shooting that pressure right here, boom, 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 when he lets off on people. You know, that's what it's for. And then moving up to his portrait here, absolutely perfect Optimus Prime. Looks like him 100%. And it does swivel, so you can't move it, displaying how you wanna display him. You wanna display him like this, looking at you, like this, again, turn the head to look at you, however you want it to be. So that's a good thing that I, that I really like is that the head swivels here. So you do have some options here for displayability. And it's a great thought and consideration for the collector because Optimus here, obviously he's not just standing straight up, looking straight at you. He is kind of at a twisting motion, leg forward here. Obviously you can see it. So yeah, I mean, you could display in different ways and it doesn't have to be a, kind of an awkward look because if you wanted to face him one way, he's looking that way versus looking straight at you. However you want to display it, that's what I really love about Prime One. They take their fans, their customers into consideration, and even though it's a very small thing, very easy, they could have skipped it, but didn't. But overall, yes, obviously you can see that I love this statue, which is why he was displayed for so long. And yes, I am very, very sad to have to box Optimus here up, but I mean, like I said, guys, you know, it's time to move on. You know, he'll always be in my collection. You know, I'm bust him out again one day, but for now he's gonna take a little break. But let me know what you guys think of Optimus here. Do you feel that Prime One captured the essence of who Optimus Prime is with this statue? Do you feel that they paid, they stayed true to the character on his look here? I mean, whatever you think about this statue, I would love to know what you had to say. So leave your comments down below, comment, like, subscribe, and then as always, collect what makes you happy. Okay.